वेलकम टू दी यूट्यूब चैनल जस्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे वी विल लर्न क्लास एट केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर हाइड्रोजन पार्ट थ्री सो इन दिस चैप्टर सॉरी इन दिस पार्ट वी विल लर्न मोर थिंग्स एंड आर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज प्रिपेरेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन means how is hydrogen prepared preparation of hydrogen so there are three general methods for preparation of hydrogen and our first method is water second method is acids third method is alkalis these three are the methods in this part we will learn the first method that is hydrogen hydrogen from water so first is from cold water and second is from steam from cold water from steam and third is from steam from cold water highly reactive metals like sodium potassium and calcium on reacting with cold water give hydrogen and the respective metallic hydroxides so it is like metal in metals they are like sodium potassium calcium plus water water it is cold water gives metallic hydroxide metallic hydro oxide plus hydrogen like this special features are first is k potassium is a highly reactive metal and hence the reaction is vigorous and exothermic relatively less vigorous than potassium slightly vigorous in some cases like the first they are saying highly highly reactive metal when it is 2k plus h sorry 2h2o and it gives 2k oh plus h2 this is highly reactive 2 and a plus 2h2o gives Two N A O H plus H two. This is less reactive than potassium. And when it is C A plus two H two O, it gives C A O H O H means O two H two plus H two. This is 
only slightly vigorous than this both. Now B1 from steam. Metals like magnesium, aluminium, zinc and iron on reaction with cold water do not liberate hydrogen but where hot steam is passed over them they liberate hydrogen. Metals like magnesium, aluminium, zinc and iron when heated to dull red hot undergo reaction with steam to form their respective oxides and hydrogen and the process is like metal plus metal plus water steam water gives metallic metallic oxide plus hydrogen hydrogen after that some special features like when it is mg when it is mg plus h2o it gives mgo plus h2 where h2 is liberated along with steam mg also reacts with boiling water to liberate h2 but the reaction is slow Second is 2Al plus 3H2O. H2 gives Al2O3 plus 3H2. Zn plus H2O gives ZnO plus H2. And 3Fe plus 4H2O gives, liberates Fe3O4 plus 4H2. This, three, this reaction of iron with steam is the reversible reaction. This reaction with iron with steam is reversible reaction. I hope you have understood till this. There is a question. It says that the process of preparing hydrogen by reacting water with metals, such metals as sodium, potassium and calcium is not preferred. Explain. So, first point is that the reaction of potassium with cold water brings exothermic in nature. Being exothermic in nature may lead to the ignition of hydrogen which burns with lilac flame. This process may lead to an explosion and hence highly dangerous. Second is the reaction of sodium with cold water leads to the melting of sodium into a silvery globule and thus makes it move about in the water. This renders the collection of hydrogen difficult to avoid sodium from moving about. Moving about, it was wrapped in a piece of small wire gaze. And third point is, calcium is an expensive element due to the uh, Above reason, sodium, potassium and calcium are not preferred for the preparation of hydrogen. I hope you have understood this part of hydrogen, chapter hydrogen. In next part, we will learn another methods. Till that,
thank you for watching for any queries and doubt you can join the telegram link given in the description of this video like this is the foundation of class 8 we have covered the foundation of class 7 2 the links are given in the description please go and check through it thank you for watching